Welcome back to Soul Fuel. We're here today to install a five kilowatt give energy system and the target of today is to see if we can get it done in a day. Now it's a bit windy, but the sun is out, so fingers crossed, we'll get it done. I'm just gonna get in the loft, mate. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna have a look at the route for the cables to get from that external wall over there to the fuse board, which is in the middle of the house. If I can fit through the loft hatch. Oh, geez, I don't even need to get up there yet. I can see ya. You ready, Lloyd? All good? Don't video me getting up here, you I don't know what to do. Fat for this. Entertainment factories, I'll just take everything out with me, innit? <laughs> if I was just a little bit taller or skinnier. <laughs> Made it look easy, and I? Like a gazelle. Can you see if you can see the end of a cable for that hole? Yes, bruv. It's a sparky as well. That'd do. There we go, a little bit of slack to pull through. So this cable is main power and communications from the Give Energy inverter goes through the side wall, across the loft, and into the top of this fuse board on the right-hand side here. This is the other end of those cables. We're gonna dress it round with the other cables that are already in place and into our inverter here. What, what do you have for breakfast? Let me smell your breath. You are right, Ali. Uh, I'd probably say we, we can just go up and just go over that, that bit there. Save having to come out under a tile and put a proper Okay, so tile growing. Might get a little fixing in that corner just to hold it down. Yeah. We just you'll, follow you'll that. be under a bucket almost straight away. Follow that. We can pop up up here. Lovely jubbly. One string, two string? Two. Definitely. We'll do two strings. I want to get this here so I can lob the bags up, hopefully. Back, back, back. Stop. Thank you. Ready? I think that's a bit harder than I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'll pass them. <laughs> the weather is sweet. Oh, I want to put some things in there. Yeah, let's put, some, put some weight in it. Oh, I've got to see Dorothy fly across in a minute. <laughs> in a shed. Watch your feet, bruv. So we're up here today, we're on the roof. We've got these console buckets. Uh, you may have seen these from one of our other videos where we mounted them on, on the ground. They're also suitable for flat roofs, so that's what we're using here. Up on the roof, we've got to put a little bit more weight in because it's going to be affected by the wind a little bit more. So it's important to fill them up with the correct amount of weight so they don't blow away. And away you go. You may notice that young George is missing from this one. And that's because he was so good at talking and not doing much work, he's now in the office talking for work. So that's, that's where George has gone. So, How much better was it? No. So it's really, you want to get the panels on first, so we know um, yeah. do those spaces before we sort of Probably spend too much time. Yeah. This is very technical work. What's going on there? No. Once we do the first one, we get going. It's like the first time, didn't it? Some thousands of these. So what we've got up here is 10 panels going on the buckets, so they'll be weighed down. And then we're gonna have a further four panels on this pitched roof here to take up to a total of 14 panels to suit the five kilowatt hybrid inverter. Away we go. So the edge of my panel is gonna be here. Overhang wise, normally about 300 mil. So the edge of the pan is going to be here. So if we take out this tile here, the bracket will sit over this one, back down to about here, which gives us about a 250 overhang, which meets the design requirements. So happy days. We've got our rafter there. Happy days, lucky guess. So we'll fix our bracket to that. So we're using ClickFit Evo, which is what we like to use. So our bracket's going to sit there, about there, like that. 
Lovely. So on the, on the edge of the roof, obviously we're sort of we're over 300 in anyway. We like to put two brackets a bit closer together, just because the wind's going to be slightly stronger coming in from that way, and it's quite flat over there. So two close together on the ends, and then we can go back to our normal spacing in the middles. Second faults, I'm going to shift them down slightly, just so we haven't got to disturb that second tile up there, because I don't want to disturb the ridge. It's already looking a little bit old. It makes no difference to us. Just haven't got to touch that up the top. So rafter, lovely. Well up, well up at my tape measure. Rafter, lovely jubbly. So the panels are 1135. 1135 times four, 4540 plus 100 mil for, I think it's say 4.6. So that's that end there. And then we repeat it on the, on the row above. And away we go. He's a brave, brave man up there. Definitely windy. Nice and tight. We stick two of these in to make sure we're solid. Making sure we go straight through the rafter, not on an angle so it pokes out of the side and doesn't get the full strength. Nice and straight. Alex's little goodie, goodie box. It's quite a nice bit set there. And I bet you he's still not got the one that we need. Oh, he does, he does, he's still got it. <sighs> Solid as a rock. I have to come down for that, don't I? Shall I come down? I've got it. You got this? I've got this. He reckons he's got this. Let's see. <clears throat> We're over tidy Luton. Oh, yeah. Very well organised. I need three, three lengths. Please? It's just as well I've got no air left, otherwise that wind would blow it off. I'll take five then, shall I? Walk. Hey. I'll take five then. Thank you, kind sir. And that's that clicked in. Lovely. So how are the panels basically fixed to the bucket, we've got this, I call them a, a brace. Um, so what they literally do is, as you can see here on the frame, you've got holes, four holes either side of each panel. Uh, so it's very simple. All you do is you put your brace on the panel here. Now we want to go on the inside holes because that's how it matches up with a bucket up the top. And then literally you just use your bolt, you've got your washer and you've got an eight mil nut as well. Uh, sorry, 10 mil nut. You put a nut bolt and washer here same on the other side and then that holds it nice and tight and then you literally mirror it on the other side of the panel bang the panel on top of the bucket and then you've got little clips that will then clip under under the lip of the bucket and then you just put a screw through and then that basically locks the panel onto the bucket Bosh. this is the tile these are the tiles that are on here with these ones they've got these little sort of lips here obviously the tile hooks over the bottom with these those sections so that keeps it in place. If you see our bracket sits in this groove, so what we do is you just nib this little bit here out, which isn't going to affect the tile really in any way. And then that slides in and it allows that tile to sit back down flush. So nothing can sort of get up there and it just keeps it all nice and neat and, and tidy. That should go in as it was. And look, she sits nice and Nice and flush with the rest. Beautiful. We've got to join the rails. So much like you would with carpentry work or plasterboard and whatnot, you, I'd, we always stagger our joints. So this one, a couple is going to be here. A couple are solid anyway, but in my head, it just feels a little bit better. So, got a coupler on this one, this side. Then on the top row, we're going to put the coupler staggered. So, probably completely unnecessary, but in my head, it feels right. So, look, you can see here, we've replaced that one. The existing roof is a little bit all over the place. Nothing's straight or square. So, whoever's done it hasn't done the best of jobs, but. I hope we're working with what we've got, because otherwise we'll have to strip the whole thing off. Our one fits in there all nice and neat, so 
Away we go. And away we go again. <laughs> Where are you grabbing these panels from? Where the ladder is. Just went for a nice big gust to come and take me out. Just died down, we're going. It's like blowing against me. Are you good at it for a sec? Yeah? Fucking... Oh. So the target was to get it done in the day. We're still going. Got a little bit of sunlight left. So it's a race to the finish to get it done before the sun drops. She blows. <laughs> So earlier on when you see me fitting these braces to the underside of the panel, um, as I was saying, the way these panels are actually um, fixed onto the buckets, we use this little clip here. Um, so there's two either side, so two here, two on the front. Um, what it literally does is, as you can see, it's got a, like a shape on here that goes with the lip on the bucket. So what you do, you've just got two holes and then you've got a hole on your strap here, as you can see. And then what we do, literally, push the clip over the bucket there and then we get a little hex screw and you've got to make sure this screw goes through all three holes and then that's how it locks in so hopefully first time lovely just like that so that's all through as you see that's nice and tight on there and then we're ready to get the other three in the bucket we're up here we're pretty much done it's about midnight no joking it's about 4 30 we're done up here now, so we've got our four panels on the roof. We've got 10 panels on the buckets, on the flat roof. It's got a string here and another string there. And I'll show you what we've done downstairs. So this is where Rob's been working most of the day. We've got our inverter and battery down here. So we've got a nine and a half kilowatt hour battery with a five kilowatt Give Energy hybrid inverter. We've got our DC isolator, AC isolator. And we've obviously followed the route of these existing cables um, to keep it all together, but what the customer's going to do is get this boxed in so you won't be able to see any of that. So that'll tidy that up a little bit. And there she is. So we've also got a little canopy that we've got to mount up here just to keep out of the weather. Um, it's IP60 rated, but give energy, or IP65, but give energy, recommend we fit a canopy, so that's what we'll do. So our target for the day was to get this job finished, which we've achieved. So as you can see here, look, I mean, it's dark now, but we are commissioned, solar's generating. We're doing an update, so it's not quite reading all the settings yet, but once that's finished, that will be, will be good and reading correctly. We'll pop back tomorrow to do a handover because the customers had to pop out. But yeah, so we're done in the day. It's quite a neat and tidy install. A simple one, but we've achieved what we set out to do. So happy days. If you've got any questions about the install, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.